One of the major classes that we teach at Kimball University is called the Data Warehouse Lifecycle in Depth class. And this class is really intended, ideally, for project teams that are new to the Data Warehouse and Business Intelligence Design Challenge. And so it gives them an overall perspective that's fairly technical and fairly managerial at the same time for the end-to-end -end considerations in deploying these, these complex systems. So we start, certainly, with the planning responsibilities. We, we make sure that they have a proper checklist of all the considerations for planning a, a complicated system design like this. We actually have three threads of, of different levels of plans that, that we pursue in parallel. What underlies all this is the underpinnings, you might say, of the whole responsibility is to look at the business requirements of the target client. And that is actually a skill that, that we teach in, in a pretty specific way. We make sure that everybody on the, the team that is approaching the, the client and is trying to do this design is really attuned to the true needs that the business users have the kind of key performance indicators that end up by being actual deliverables in, in the structure of the data warehouse, as well as the realities of the data that could actually support these, these key performance indicators. And we teach a skill that I don't think the users actually expect to be taught, but they, they usually enjoy it. We say, what's the actual technique for eliciting the right answers from a business user about how they make decisions? And there's, there's an obvious question that we tell them you can never ask, and you should never ask, and that is, what do you want in a data warehouse? It seems like the obvious question, but the flaw in that is it puts a competent business user in the position of designing a computer system when they don't feel competent doing that. And that's a subtle distinction that is lost on most IT people, because they think that's a natural question. So we, we teach them how to ask the same question, but in a, in a way that feeds the comfort level of the business user by saying, how do you do a great job in your role as advertising manager for this major division? And then they just usually open up and give us this wonderful stream of, of insights that they have and ways that they think about their business. And your job, of course, is to write those down and to, to hear words that you've never heard before and then translate those into the business requirements. We then tell our students, that when you're armed with this wonderful set of answers from the business requirements, the first thing you do is go try to find the data that might support that. And so that's the, the complementary activity that occurs really right at the, the front line of, of this engagement with the customer. We then, in the class, after we teach them how to, to get the ingredients for the design, we say, okay, how are you going to turn the structure of the data into something that's understandable by the, by the business user. And, and that's where the dimensional modeling approach is the tried and true approach. We invented that approach. It is characteristic of the Kimball group. We are the authoritative source for, for that. And of the four, in this four day class called the life cycle class, we teach about a day and a half of the dimensional modeling. It is not the full deep treatment that we do with a four-day class, but it gives the students a solid introduction to that and often serves as a springboard for them to go to, to the, the full four-day class at a later time. However, in the life cycle class, we also go into the back room. We talk about the extract, transform, and load operations in the, you might say, the basement or the back room of the data warehouse. We talk about physical database design characteristics, which is a reasonably technical topic. We then go out into the front room, which can be considered to be kind of like the dining room of, 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 a, of a restaurant, and we teach how to design the BI tools, the business intelligence tools, that can go against this platform of data that is easy to use and easy to understand. We then put on our manager's hat and say, how do you know when you're ready to deploy into an environment? What are the, 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 the criteria for readiness are, do you have the training ready? Do you have the end user expectations ready? Do you have the data actually in a final form that can be used right away, rather than just being a prototype or just being a demonstration? So you know, we make sure that we don't rush to the finish line with our, with our designs until the business users are actually ready. We then teach the, our students how to plan for growth, how to do system checkups from time to time going into the future. And I will say that the whole approach is very congruent with, a very parallel with what the agile development methodology that's used out there in, in, in many other development projects. 
And it, it's a, in, in some sense, it's a coincidence that's fortunate because we are very business oriented. We empower the business user to, to control the project. We believe in short-term deliverables. And, and people who understand the Agile approach find themselves surprisingly comfortable with the Kimball approach, even though we don't brand ourselves exactly in that way. So that is the, the, the overview and, and the, the, the intention of the lifecycle class.